James Webb. It's not only a telescope, but a marvel. Who would have thought that we could see this? And this. And this. It has made impossible possible. How mankind has progressed and achieved something like this. Have you ever thought why there was a need to invent telescope? And do you actually know that Galileo was not the one to invent telescope? Today we'll see how the combination of mirrors and lenses have changed the perception of the universe as we know it. We will look at the history of telescopes and how we were able to create something like James Webb. Hi guys, my name is Harry and welcome to my channel History with Harry. Make sure to drop a like if you like this video and hit the subscribe button if you want to learn history as a story. I'm sure you must be thinking that who really invented telescope if not Galileo? This is what we have been taught and known our entire life. Hans Lippershey, a Dutch lens maker, is known to have patented the first refracting telescope in the year 1608. For those who are surprised by this, yes, it was not Galileo. Galileo Galilei is known as the father of modern science, as quoted by Albert Einstein. In the year 1609, he modified Hans' design and used it for astronomy using a convex objective lens in a laden tube and a concave eyepiece lens at the other end. I'm sure you would be wondering what did he see through his telescope? It was not this or this but something like this. Galileo is known to have made many of the discoveries. He was the first one to find out that Jupiter has four moons, Saturn has rings, and was able to observe sunspot through his naked eye and telescope. There is a speculation that he lost partial vision in one of his eyes while observing the sunspot. In Europe, he was the one to break it to the church that Earth is not center of the universe and we revolve around the sun, for which he was imprisoned for a lifetime and he was never able to see the skies again. But this did not stop the world from using his expertise and knowledge. He had a lot of visitors, even in prison, Johannes Kepler being one of them. Kepler described the design of a compound refractor in 1611. He used convex lens eyepiece instead of Galileo's concave eyepiece. He later published the work of Galileo. In 1665, Christian Eugens introduced a complex refractor telescope with multiple convex lenses based on Kepler's design and eyepiece made of two compound convex lenses, using which he was able to discover first moon of Saturn, Titan. Early refractor telescopes used to be very long and heavy, which made it very difficult to be moved around. Someone had to do something about it. In 1668, an English mathematician, physicist, and alchemist solved this problem and introduced a new practical design of telescopes, reflectors. And the man behind this, you guessed it right, Sir Isaac Newton. Newton used mirrors instead of lenses, which made it possible for the telescopes to shrink in size and easy to carry. You can see one of the early Newtonian reflectors on your screen. From here, we saw a lot of progress in new designs of reflectors, like Cassegrain reflectors, Dobsonians, and later in 20th century, Ritchie Christian or RC. 
not only we improved on reflectors or refractors, but we were able to create radio telescopes. Karl Jensky, an engineer with Bell Telephone Laboratories in 1932, accidentally discovered astronomical radio source when he was trying to find out source of static. Later in 1937, Grot Rebel was able to build first parabolic telescope in Illinois. Radio telescopes have given us capability of studying quasars, spotting black holes, and helped us discover distant galaxies. Universe is vast. We humans have only been able to observe 5% of it. But even this was not possible from Earth. We had to set up observatories in space. So far, we have launched more than 90 telescopes out of which 27 are still working and continuously peeking into the space. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990 and still remains operational. It was named after an American astronomer, Edwin Hubble. Hubble is a Cassegrain Reflector Telescope. It is 43.5 feet wide or 30.2 meters with a maximum diameter of 14 feet or 4.2 meters. On Earth, it would weigh around 24,500 pounds or 11,110 kilograms. Hubble has already achieved so much that this video would not be enough to cover all. But some of the prominent discoveries of Hubble include Hubble's ultra deep space field, the pillars of creation in Eagle Nebula, Mystic Mountains in Carina Nebula, and the age of the universe. Yet, that's not it. James Webb was launched on December 25th, 2021 and is six times the size of Hubble and 100 times more powerful. Still, it weighs half them what Hubble is. For perspective, its sun shield is as big as a tennis court. Its mirrors are 6.5 meter wide. JWST is designed primarily for near-infrared astronomy, so it can detect fainter and farther objects. It has near-infrared camera, near-cam, and medium-infrared camera called MIRI. Its primary mirror is a gold-coated reflector. JWST operates 1.5 million kilometers from Earth in a halo orbit, circling around a point in the space known as Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point. It's roughly four times farther than Moon. It has already given us the three spectacular images of deep space. We never know what it will find now.